Hey guys, um, welcome once again to the Panuka YouTube uh, channel. This is yours truly, Bruno Mwemba, aka One Mr. Panuka. And uh, obviously today we're coming from far away with a little baby here. <laughs> yeah. So um, you actually realize that um, uh, we are a big fan of using, you know, renewable energy. Uh, we've been an off-grid, you know, farming enterprise for the last, you know, 15 years, and uh, we've we've done quite a lot of videos on our, you know, YouTube channel. Um, but in terms of value addition, um, yeah, we we thought of also just checking out here in Estonia where we are uh, to look at some of the different options. And uh, I've got a colleague here. I don't want to murder his name, uh, so he will introduce himself, um, yeah, and what he does, and then we we'll get to look at uh, the solution that he has. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, guys. My name is Markus Kulargo. I'm from Estonia, one of the founders of uh, Globe Dry, and we are building solar energy powered food dryers in here, Estonia. Okay. Um, so, what really motivated you to, to look at um, you know this this technology? Uh, that's a rather long story, mm -hmm. but uh, we, we, we can do with the, the short form of the long story. Uh, short word, uh, yeah, I had. Um, I have been in solar thermal energy 10 years uh, mm -hmm. and I was like a uh, little pause. I wanted to do something fun mm -hmm. and in the, uh, I did a small trip to Uzbekistan, so a mm. big problem. Then came back to Estonia uh, and in that time I had lots of people uh, surrounded me all over the world, uh, mm. as well Africa, yeah. Australia, yeah. Yeah. Cambodia, Pakistan and, and we were in some idea competition yeah and then i decided okay let's let's do let's start to solving the problem actually yeah, yeah. so drying uh, in places where mm. there are no electricity oh ah, okay so that's that's the key point and then we can go afterwards find uh, take a small short with the first prototype as well which is in, okay. in this garden okay so that's the key point then okay. We started and we started the company with my wife, mm, who will okay. come outside as well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah. so far, how has been the traction in terms of? Um, obviously, you had to go through like a proof of concept, but now it's beyond proof of concept. It's it's been That's proved, right? That's uh, been yeah crazy. We sell them in Estonia. It was basically a totally hobby thing. So mm. we did it to ourselves. Mm. Store storage food from winter time. Then uh, friends started to buy. We sold. I don't know, 30 pieces oh, okay. of the first ones uh, in Estonia. And the interesting part was all the sales was from like uh, uh, direct sales. So friend, yeah, uh, like B2C success. business to customer. Uh, yeah, directly. directly. Yeah. No, it was, uh, it's, they told to their friends. Oh, so, okay. So but word like, of mouth. And, yeah. So yeah, word of mouth. Yeah, so that yeah, was the yeah. like, key part. Mm. And the technology is, is really great. It's selling itself. The tastes and the colors for the products mm. are so mm. good. Okay. So this is uh, how it started. Then we connected with Mondo to do so something bigger. Yeah. And yeah. And, and it happened. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so so Mo Mondo, that's a, yeah, a local, uh, local NGO, NGO who yeah. helps uh, like impact, yeah, in uh, terms of impact, right? Uh, uh, impact. Yeah. So we did, uh, yeah, we send now 110 dryers to the world. Okay. 80 to Africa and uh, 36. Africa has just been Kenya? Yeah, uh, Kenya and Uganda. And both. Uganda, yeah. okay, and great. The, I think they're somewhere in the sea right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then you've, you've, I saw you have a footprint in Georgia as well? Uh, yeah, Georgia and Spain as well. And Spain, yeah. okay. Oh, that's great, that's great. We bring sunshine from the Spain in the Christmas market. Oh, yeah? <laughs> okay. I mean, obviously, we look forward, I think, to having these pieces back home in um, uh, Zambia. And, of course, uh, as Panuka you know, farm, uh, this is the kind of technology that we want to be associated with. Uh, because, uh, you know, in most of the African countries, and probably to speak about Zambia, one of the biggest issues is that uh, the country is highly dependent on hydro. And then the moment there's um, a bit of, um, you know, climate change, uh, drought, it means, you know, you have electricity, you know, challenges. And uh, these kind of technologies are actually a game changer for, um, you know, um, for us. This year happened when we were in uh, in Georgia, in, in, in example, the, the like warehouse was in a nut factory. Yeah. When we opened the like dryer boxes, the 36 ones, the electricity was gone, I think, three times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it happens. And 
in in uh, we did a cool solution for Africa. Okay. Uh, we added the USB chargers as well. Okay, but this one doesn't have a. It, this one doesn't have. Okay, but one. the ones that have gone to Kenya, have they have a USB charger, oh, so you can okay. find the charger phone or ba battery bank. Uh, oh, nice. As well. so, okay. Um, what else? What else are you looking at um, adding in terms of just you, as you keep on innovating this technology? I mean, it's, it's good to see that beyond just this piece, you've added now. You know, just to charge the phones. What else? What else is in the mind of, of people that we can look forward to in the coming? It depends of the needs. Always. Okay. So um, it, everything is doable, but, okay. it, but you have to figure out the demand. Maybe the next thing is uh, yeah, the size. Uh, okay. But now yeah, we have finished this one, and we we can do them yeah four times bigger. Uh, that's that's doable. So actually, I think when we met at the latitude fifty nine, yeah. um, I think you gave me. You know, some prototype, but for the other companies, it's all Sol, Sol, Sol Navitas, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, every day company is, uh, is Sol Navitas, which is doing uh, solar energy based ventilations. Mm. So we are mm. uh, in there, we are trying the houses. So okay. So, but now I think we, we did indicate, I mean, talk about the fact that, I mean, if I'm looking at commercializing this, maybe I don't want to have too many small units, but I want to open a bigger factory because one of the challenges we have in Africa. And speaking for Zambia, is that there's a time like say you've got so much mango, um, and then it's just going to waste. Yes. So that's the that's the key key thing. What we or why we did it. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the one of the starting point was that yeah, I had apple trees. Ah, okay. In here, and uh, I didn't want to do a jam because there ah, was great amount okay. of sugar. But I wanted is that, to, is that an apple tree? That one? Uh, yeah, that one is ah, apple tree. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I wanted to storage them somehow. Uh, so. Yeah, the trying one was uh, solution was really good. It's really okay. old technology, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. we we did we put it into the like new uh, under the new coat. Okay, so. okay. So basically, I think for the bigger ones, you haven't like commercial scale. No, we, did, you, we haven't, haven't done this. Okay, but, uh, but you think the technology is ripe enough for such yeah, something we can like do that? It. Okay, we, we can do it. That, that's okay, the, okay. But if there's a demand, then mm. we can figure it out. Okay, but yeah, the idea is that. Uh, uh, we have had the idea quite quite long because mm -hmm. the, what we do with the tech drawing, there's a, one time you have a huge amount of mango, then mm -hmm. you have a huge amount of papaya, <laughs> oh, yeah, and then yeah. if the if the uh, you have a huge amount of papaya and you want to sell it onto the market, then the market prices are low because everybody has yeah, yeah, has. Pa yeah, papaya. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, if you yeah, dry yeah, them, yeah. sell them where there's demand, then yeah. you will get lots of more money. Yeah, but yeah. Um, you're making some type of like hybrid drying uh, mm -hmm. uh, facility where mm -hmm. you can try like different things uh, mm. that yeah that will be okay. work quite nicely I think. okay so that's kiwi and then papaya then uh, pineapple pineapple and orange, orange eh? uh, and our like own Estonian apple so ideally in terms of cutting they must be like thin thin Around slices the right three millimeter mm. we are using the like uh, mandolin cutters mm. Okay. Yeah, it's good. But how long do you think this can, like, like last? Mm -hmm. mm. This one is what? What is this? Pineapple. Oh, okay. Mm. It depends how do you st how do you storage them. If you, I mean, if if after that you straight away go into, um, it's. Uh, I think let's say. As we have the best before is one year. Okay. It, it has it. It, it seems, mm -hmm. but um, if you store them quite nicely, I think I have tested the uh, strawberries mm -hmm. two to three years. Oh, okay. If they are and the storaging means that they have to be on dark. Okay. And uh, sealed uh, really nicely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If they are like. On, on the light, mm -hmm. they start yeah. to lose the, the test and, uh, yeah. colors and mm. so on. Okay. These are um, these we did in January. The kiwis, huh? Kiwis, yeah. Okay. These apples we did last September, I think. No. Oh, okay. So they are quite like, decent. Uh, actually, it's very good, very nice snack actually. Okay. This is lovely. Have you done the nutritional content analysis? No. Okay. So that's yeah. That's uh, we haven't had money for this. Okay. But um, our like logical mind says that 
if it looks nice, then it smells tastes. nice, mm -hmm. tastes nice, then, that's then it should be nice. Yeah. Mm. So that's the like. Okay. Okay. Pretty much. And the biggest fan is in over there. Mm, of course. So <laughs> he likes them oh. quite nice. Oh, the little one, eh? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Crazy. <laughs> Hold on. Um, obviously, there could be quite a lot of interest right now. Um, just, you know, on our YouTube channel. Um, yeah, where, where can people find you if, if they're trying to contact you? And basically, how do they get to, you know, purchase the, the units? Yeah. So you can go to yeah, our website, which is globetry.com. Okay. Uh, these are the solar dryers. And if they want some awesome ventilation systems, then it's uh, solnavitas.eu. Okay. So on, on the what other company mainly you're doing, what kind of uh, solar solutions? Have you done irrigation and whatever, or it's mainly houses like that for it, the other company? Uh, it, it's mainly yeah, houses, uh, okay. regular houses for ventilation. And the, the big parts have been the um, buildings which have high humidity mm -hmm. inside there. So trying them. Okay. But we have done all types of uh, solar energy things, as you can see. Yeah, 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 a, yeah right behind. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Something right beside mm -hmm. uh, us as well. Yeah, behind. yeah, yeah, behind us. Yeah. Okay. Now this is great. Um, yeah. Any last words for for the people, just to inspire them, or yeah, something I probably may not have asked you. <laughs> uh, yeah, trying things is a really, really awesome market, and um, uh, like our technology. Maybe I will a little bit connect to the uh nigerian uh, guys who came here mm -hmm. uh, they said that if you like figure out how to use the like dryers the solar dryers in, in the climate then you can build up an new small scale farmers like uh, community yeah so yeah. so the, the products which are coming out is like really really premium mm -hmm. so uh yeah it's definitely the thing to look about and there is so much of Things like how we, what we had uh, like herbs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, in this te technology, you can uh, take the natural herbs. I don't mm -hmm. know from somewhere or other other places. Yeah, uh, and bring them here and giving the like uh, experience. Premium, yeah, like uh, having this. It, it, oh yeah, you can give the tourism experience. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right, guys, um, this has been yours truly, Bruno Mwemba, AK1, Mr. Panuka. Like we always do on the Panuka Agribusiness Hub. Um, our thesis or theory of change, I think, for why we created that, um, is that we are great believers um, in, in knowledge. Um, we can only turn around, you know, agribusiness if we are very receptive to quite different, you know, ways of doing things. Um, and I hope, I think this just gives you a bit of uh, ideas on what is possible. So have a lovely one. And I hope uh, this has been a lovely, lovely, enjoyable video for you. Um, with our little friend here. Aron. 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 Say bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. <laughs>